Pope Francis called it the praying heart of the church. It is the precious, though little visible, world of contemplative life. Recently, it has received particular attention from the church, first through the apostolic consortium Vultum Dei Querere, and then with the decree Cor Orans, which applies it and contains specific rules on the life and organization of monasteries. On May the 8th in Jerusalem, at the custody of the Holy Land, Monsignor José Rodríguez Carvalho, Secretary of the Congregation for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life, arrived to explain the news to the contemplative sisters of the whole Holy Land. It is a moment of encounter to show the love that the Church has for the contemplative life. Then a second objective is the encounter between them, Many of the monasteries present here do not know each other, even those of the same order, so it is fundamental that they meet each other. Then certainly to show them some challenges of the federation, of autonomy, of seclusion, and then the great challenge of formation. And it is precisely on formation that we are about to publish a document which will be entitled The Art of Looking for the Face of God guidelines for the formation of contemplatives. L'arte della ricerca del volto di Dio, linee orientative per la formazione delle contemplative. Throughout the Holy Land there are 14 monasteries, of which nine in Judea and five in Galilee, and mostly of Latin rite, within which 174 nuns of six different orders have chosen to put at the center of their lives prayer, brotherhood, and hospitality. Beh, la vita contemplativa, diciamo che è nata in questa terra e il monachesimo è sempre stato Contemplative life was born in this land. Monasticism has always been very alive. We are a small presence that collects the legacy of these 2000 years of history. The simplest thing or even the deepest and truest is that we are truly a prayerful presence. First of all Christian we bear witness to a presence that gathers the cry of peace, freedom, and unity, which rises from these peoples and also from these religions. Prayer is our first vocation, and it meets and intersects with the vocation to pray for our Jewish and Muslim brothers and sisters. From here, that a prayer rises, let's say one next to the other, is important. And then, there are daily bonds of friendship with Jewish and Muslim brothers, and also with people who have their own search for God. We are here to say that Jesus Christ is still alive. Con fratelli ebrei e fratelli musulmani e anche persone che hanno la loro ricerca di Dio. La clausura e la, e la, la solea e il silenzio sono elementi essenziali in nostra vita contemplativa. Closure, solitude and silence are essential elements of our contemplative life, without which we cannot not only pray, which is our ministry, but be ourselves a continuous praise of the Lord for all, in a fragmented land which cries out in all its realities the need for peace and to live in communion and brotherhood. We feel we are praying among people who pray. Everywhere the presence of the contemplative life is very important, but here even more so. In addition to being instruments of dialogue, you shall be truly supportive of the weak members of the Church here in the Holy Land, both Christians and non-Christians, and be lighthouses, oil lamps and watchmen in today's world. E sentinelle nel mondo di oggi.